informs you Fox 4 News starts now. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Mm. Steve Eager. Pretty exciting yeah. night around here. Glad you got to watch it. The Rangers scored first. The Rangers to the World Series, Jeff. Guys, these Texas Rangers are writing one of the greatest baseball stories we've seen in some time. It bears repeating. This franchise came into the year on the heels of six straight losing seasons, had only won four playoff series in their 51-year history, and tonight they knock out the defending World Series champs, their rivals, the Houston Astros, in a pivotal Game 7. Our Mike Ducey joins me live from Minute Maid Park now. Mike, we talked pregame. You didn't know what to expect heading into this one. To knock out your rival like that in this situation has to be one of the sweetest wins for Dallas sports fans in recent memory. Yeah, exactly, Jeff. I, I think it might be the most satisfying win in Texas Rangers history for their fan base. I, they beat the Yankees in, in the uh, ALCS to get them to the World Series for the first time. But this one, with this rivalry and the intensity and the way it built, even during the course of this series, and to win it here at Minute Maid, again, incredibly satisfying for the Ranger players, obviously manager Bruce Bochy, the GM Chris Young, and so many Ranger fans who still stuck around in this ballpark. There were more Ranger fans here for Game 7 than there had been in the, in the previous games, and they were enjoying every bit of the post-game ceremonies that just wrapped up. We talked on the pregame, you know, I thought Max Scherzer was going to have to have a really solid outing for the Rangers to have a chance in this game. I could not have been more wrong because he didn't last long. Scherzer was only around, around two and two-thirds innings, gave up a couple of runs. Jordan Montgomery came in and relieved him well. As it turns out, it was the offense that did everything for Texas tonight, an offense that for most of the year in baseball had been the best in the major leagues and that offense was back this evening Seeger, as you saw got things started with that home run but adolis garcia was the story the uh, american league championship series mvp with a series record 15 runs driven in and a couple of more home runs tonight and a revenge story <laughs> unlike many you will ever see in sports or anywhere else as Garcia gets the last laugh and then some against the Astros. An 11-4 pounding Rangers on to the World Series for the first time since 2011. And it opens in Arlington coming up this weekend. Jeff? That's going to be something. Adolis Garcia, what a story. Corey Seager called him a bad man after taking in all the booze and doing what he did in that ballpark. Uh, Mike, much more to get to with Garcia. The other storylines from this one. With this win, the Rangers 8-0 on the road in these playoffs. The only other team to ever accomplish that, the 96 Yankees, who knocked out the Rangers on their way to winning the whole thing. Let's take a look back at how the Rangers got 